Welcome to another video. I covered On Demand a while back, but recently it has gotten some new upgrades, and it's even better now. So, let me tell you everything about it. If you don't know about On Demand, it's an AI automation or AI operating system that allows you to build AI agents and workflows according to your needs. Not just that, you can get $150 of free credits on this platform as well to try it out by visiting it through the link in the description. This will allow you to start building agents and workflows in literally seconds with these credits, and you can start testing them as well without paying anything up front. Not just that, you'll also be able to monetize the agents you make by sharing your agents in their agents marketplace and generating revenue from them. So, let me tell you everything about it and how it works. First of all, just click the link in the description and get yourself signed up. Then, you'll see that you get $150 free credits in your account. Just hit skip and you'll see this dashboard. Here, you can see every usage detail about the stuff that you'll see on one page, which is pretty good. Anyway, now you have the Agent Marketplace as the first option here. If you click it, you'll see a bunch of pre-made agents that you may like, and you can use any of them through here. There's financial agents, coding agents, and a bunch of other types of agents. So, whatever you're doing, you can probably find something here for you. But it's not just that, because you can also create your own agents and share them here as well. So, let me show you how you can do that. You can just click the Create Agents option here, and this will open up this modal. Here, you have three types of agents that you can create. You can either create a REST API agent that can connect to custom APIs and use that, or you can also create a simple agent that works with a custom knowledge base that you can upload and give it, or you also have the option to create an IoT agent that can control IoT devices and everything. Let me show you the knowledge base agent. So now, if you click it, you can see that here, you can enter the name of your agent with an icon, and then here, you can choose the category of your agent, like if it's a general agent, or a finance agent, or something like that. Then, enter the agent description, along with conversation starters, which are basically the starter prompts that users can select from, if needed. You can also enter the privacy policy, along with the knowledge base you want to give it, it can accept PDFs, CSVs, and everything. So, that's super good. Once you have uploaded everything, you can just save it, and you'll see that your agent is made, and you can publish it to the marketplace, or you can also use it yourself by going to the playground. Here, you can select the agent that you just created, and now you can start using it with the starter prompt or you can also send in your own prompt as well, which is all very cool. Once you send in the prompt, the model will treat it as a tool that it can call and use. You can change the model you want to use by going into the playground. Here, you can select from GPT-4, O, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and everything. Plus, all these models come under the free credits you get. So, you get Claude, and all these models for free to use, which is just amazing. Anyway, you can also set other model settings here as well. So, that's super cool. Once you think that you have set everything up, you can also export code from it and use it to integrate this AI agent into your own app through an API. So, you can just hit this Get Code option, and this will open up this modal where you can enter the programming language that you want the code to be exported to, and then it will generate the code for you that you can use to integrate it into your own application. So, this is super cool for sure. Now, let me also show you how you can create a REST API agent as well. So, you can just come to the Agent Marketplace, and here just create another agent and select REST API. Now, 
Here you can enter the same stuff, but you also have the configuration fields here where you can enter the header of requests like authorization API key and stuff like that. Then, here you can enter your API schema like this. There are some examples. So, I'll take the air quality example and just enter the stuff as required. Once done, just deploy it, and you can just come to the playground. Here, you can add in your new agent and use that, and it should work well. So, that's super cool as well. Apart from that, you have the Agent Flow Builder. Here, you can build custom automation workflows with AI models. So, once you hit the Create option, you'll see this. Here, you can configure your trigger, like if it should be triggered when you make an API request, or if you want it to be automated, then you can set a cron job, and it will get triggered that way in some time interval. Then, you can set the model and prompt here along with the agent that you want to use. This will transform your input or prompt as required, and then you'll get the output, which you can also connect to something like email, phone number, Slack, or even a custom webhook if you have any. So, this is super cool as well. Once done, you can just hit the save button and have a workflow ready to go for you. You also have the Bring Your Own Model section, where you can bring in any custom model rights from Hugging Face and use that, which is pretty great for more customization to your workflows. Apart from that, you also have the AI Engineer as well. Here, you can build applications from natural language and generate apps for the on-demand APIs and agents that you create. It's really amazing and allows you to generate some great applications as well. So, these are the major things about it. You can create some really cool AI agents with it, and use things like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, and much more for free, with the $150 credits that you can get by just clicking the link in the description. So, that's super cool, and make sure that you check it out. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.